Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge haul of inventory that I have purchased from a store called Thread Up Basement. And Thread Up Basement is a store that recently opened here in Houston um, right around a month ago, December 20th. And um, I think it's kind of like a trial run situation. It's the only Thread Up Basement store in the country. Um, and yeah, I think it's basically just where ThreadUp, the online thrift store company, is going to send a lot of its rejected items, um, kind of like they send out in the ThreadUp mystery rejected box or boxes. It's kind of like that, except for you can hand select the items that you're going to receive. So it's really cool. The store has a like so many of these huge, tall, deep bins that you just kind of have to, you know, shuffle through the clothing and dig down to the very bottom to see, you know, what all is in the bin, what you can find. Um, so ThreadUp does reject um, items that have minimal wear, like they will reject anything with pilling or like a deodorant mark. Um, they don't launder their items, I don't believe, at the warehouses. So anything that, you know, basically needs to be washed, they will just kind of reject. Um, so I picked up a couple of those types of items, and um, a lot of items do not have flaws, though. So that was great. Maybe they were rejected based on, you know, seasonality. Um, I'm really not too sure. So I have 50 items here. I've gone three times since opening. My average cost of goods per item was $3, and I'm super excited to show you guys what I picked up. You can kind of, you know, make your own judgments about the store um, based off of, you know, this stuff and other hauls that you've seen. I think it's super cool. It's super fun to go and look through this stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. So first we will start off with two pairs of shoes and then we will move on into clothing. So first off we have this pair of Steve Madden boots and they are the style, the bruiser boot. They're a size eight and a half. I've actually sold this exact style of boots from Steve Madden before on Poshmark for $50. So this was a great pickup. They're in excellent condition. And our second and last pair of shoes are from Matisse, which is a brand that sometimes collabs with free people. Um, and I thought these were really cute and bohemian. Um, they have this metallic silver upper. They're a size eight and they were handmade. So they're great quality. Okay, now we will move on into clothing. First off, we have this cardigan from Anthropology. It's from Sleeping on Snow, and I just thought this was so pretty with this really big embroidered bird on the front and these feminine flutter sleeves. Just a really, really pretty piece. This is a size medium. Next up, we have a skirt. This is an exciting find. So it's from the brand Sandro which is definitely a higher end label. Um, this skirt probably retailed in the hundreds. Um, and I thought it was really trendy with the distressed denim. So yeah, I was happy to pick that up. Next up we have rails, which I don't find too often here in Houston. This piece is actually still selling online on rails.com for full price so it seems to be a super recent piece which is great um, it has this metallic stripe throughout and it has all these pastel colors which I thought was really pretty a great again great for springtime this is a size extra small okay next we have a piece from mother I don't think you're gonna be able to see this tag it has an inside tag um, okay, so it says mother there, and this is a collab piece, so it's in collaboration with Miranda Kerr, who I believe is a Victoria's Secret uh, model. I could be wrong on that, but I'm almost positive. And this is a size medium. It has this really cute embroidered heart here. This collab stuff with mother and the Victoria's Secret angel seems to do really well, um, so I was excited about picking this up. 
Okay, next up we have Kate Spade, which I love to find. This is a size six, and it is a skirt. It's not quite midi length. I think it comes just past the knee. Um, I was happy because the tie, the waist tie, it was still attached. Um, that's always awesome. I'm definitely not sure why this was rejected and ended up at the store. I couldn't find any flaws. Um, so yeah, and this looks like it does really well on Poshmark. The sold comps were around $60 to $70. Have Maeve from Anthropology. This is a size small and really, really pretty paisley printed dress. It has some smocking up here at the chest. I think it is like an off the shoulder fit. It has elastic here to kind of keep the um, shoulders in place and really cute sleeves. So again, great for springtime. I grabbed this Urban Outfitters jacket. It's from Ecote, which I believe is a house brand at Urban Outfitters. Size small. This is just a great staple piece, like a military um, style jacket, cargo utility jacket. We have a Zara dress, which I love. So this is a midi floral printed dress. So pretty. This is a size large. It has those flutter sleeves again. It has some silver metallic buttons down the front. It's fully lined, which is great. And it zips down and back. Okay, so I was searching for these Lululemon shorts on Poshmark and I saw a lot of people had them listed as a rare print. I'm not sure if that's totally accurate. I'll have to do a little more research, but you know, that's always exciting if you can find a rare Lululemon print. Um, these are a size six. So those were a great find. Next we have a Madewell dress, size medium. This is just a basic black um, dress. I think it's called the, I think it's just called the everyday dress actually. It's this nice like thick ponty material and I think you'll be able to see it does just have a little bit of deodorant here so it just needs a quick wash and it will be good to go. Next we have, this is Porridge and I don't know if this is exclusive to Anthropology. Um, but it is definitely sometimes sold there. This is a size extra small. I thought this was so cute. So giraffes are actually my second favorite animals. Um, animal. My first favorite is turtle. Uh, a turtle. And I just thought this was so cute. It has giraffes all over it. It's a robe. It's a bathrobe. Um, and it ties in front. It's just kind of very quirky. It's that novelty print that people love. Um, so yeah, I just think this is adorable and it should do well on Poshmark. So this was another exciting find. I rarely find mother jeans. So I found the mother collab sweatshirt and then soon after I found this pair of mother jeans. Um, these are a size 25 and they are the high-waisted looker jean in the wash not guilty. So it's just like a black wash. Um, I couldn't really find any wear or flaws to these. They do have some distressing, but I'm almost positive that's manufactured. I did um, kind of do a little bit of research on them. There it is again at the back pockets. Um, so yeah, these were a great pickup. These will probably sell in the $60 to $70 range. Free People shorts. Really cute. These are a size medium. And the style name of these was something about going to the beach. They definitely have that laid back, relaxed vibe to them. I like this rope tie here in front with the kind of silver thread um, detailing. Just a great short to throw on. Next we have a Legeance, I believe that's how you say that, a dress. 
And so this was kind of like the Madewell dress, same kind of thing, just a little bit of deodorant here. So again, this needs a quick wash. Um, it does seem like a... So it's polyester, cotton, and acrylic, so I shouldn't have any issue um, washing it. I will obviously wash it on cold, I will not dry it, and then I'll just kind of, you know, hang dry it. It has the split neck here. It does have pockets, so that's awesome. It's just a great, you know, everyday dress to wear to work. Um, so, yeah. And, okay, so this was an exciting find. I did not know of this brand. It is, let me see, Albion. I believe that's how you say it, Albion. Um, and... It looks like it is a really high quality swimwear brand. So this swimsuit retails for $128. So this is the top and it has a removable halter strap. So you could wear it as a halter or you could take it off and wear it as a strapless. And then it has this, these ties should be in the back here. Um, and then it has this cutout in the middle this is really hard to show, sorry guys. So it has the cutout in the middle and then um, it ties in the back with a high-waisted striped bottom. So yeah, I was excited about this. It looks like it sells for around $75 on Poshmark um, and it looks brand new. It does not look like it was ever worn. That was a good find. Okay, next we have a Free People from We The Free Burnout oversized long sleeve top. This is a size medium. And this does have quite a bit of pilling, but I think that was either manufactured or um, I can just kind of say in the description that it, it fits the vibe of this kind of like burnout distressed top. And I don't think anyone would mind that. Um, so I don't know if it was rejected because of that, but honestly, I think it's definitely still sellable and I think someone would love this piece to lounge in, run errands in. Okay, so another pair of pants. These are by the brand McGuire, which I have never found before. They have been on my be on the lookout for list. Um, let me tie them really quick. They're kind of like that paper bag waist look, which is definitely still trending right now. They're a navy and just that casual slouchy vibe. Um, they have this like shirt bottom hem and that is the back. So these are a size 29, again in excellent condition. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg, I'm showing size zero, 100% silk jumpsuit. So pretty. And I could not find anything wrong with it. I was looking for maybe like, you know, a run in the silk, um, but it seemed, or like a missing button, but I could not find any flaws. So I was ecstatic about this. It ties in the back, which makes it very flattering. It zips at the side. It has the um, DVF hologram inside, which um, they include to just kind of give you that confidence that it's an authentic piece. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I was ecstatic about this. It does have the style name somewhere. I think it's called the Tracy Sleeveless Jumpsuit. That's what it's called. And it retails, I forget what it retails for. It was like from $200 to $400, somewhere within that range. So that was awesome. Another amazing piece. We have Anna Sui. Again, size zero. Just a really pretty printed dress with kind of an uneven bottom hem there. It is textured so it does have embroidery. This is all embroidered as well as all along the back. I love the colors in this. Um, 
So yeah, and this is part silk. It's fully lined. Um, so yeah, cotton and silk. And then all of the kind of um, extra trims are 100% silk. So just a really, really pretty designer piece. So this was an awesome find as well. Okay, we have a pair of Lululemon. These are the Align high-waisted leggings. I knew that because they are a newer piece from Lululemon. They have the size dot that has the numbers around the size in the middle of the dot. I don't think you're going to be able to see this. Um, but yeah, I just typed in the numbers and the high-waisted Align leggings popped up. So that was great that I was able to identify them like that. That was like the easiest identification for Lululemon that I have done. Um, and those look like they're really popular. They look, they look like they sell really well. Um, I saw one that sold with like heavy pilling for like $40, which is kind of crazy. These do not have, they just have, um, they do have a little bit of pilling, but it's mostly just lint, honestly. And these are a size four. Okay, moving on. This is a turtleneck sweater from Anthropology. It's from Moth. It's a size large. This is called the Fireside sweater. And um, yeah, this is just a great piece. It is a wool blend. So it's very high quality. 80% wool and 20% nylon. So this is a great cozy find. Okay, next we have two swimsuit tops. There's a lot of high-end swimwear at this store, I was noticing. Um, and like I said, I don't ever sell um, swimwear. And so I was kind of like oblivious to um, any of the brands. I was just kind of looking up whatever I found. Um, and I did find this Tory Praver um, swimsuit. And this is called the Jasmine Top. So this is, it ties up here and then it has these two very long ties that just kind of wrap around your um, lower portion, like your stomach area basically. It's really cute on. Um, so yeah, and this looks like it retails, I think it was like $110 is what it retails for. So that was kind of crazy to me. And then we have this Onya swimsuit top, and this is called, I forget what the name of this is, but it has this gingham portion here that goes around the chest, and then this goes up the back, and you see the choker portion from the front. So I thought this was really cool. I did try this on. It's really cute. It's a size extra small. Um, and this one, again, retails for like over $100. Um, I think it sells for around $30 um, in used condition. So that's great. I love expanding my brand knowledge. Um, so yeah, that was great to kind of learn some new brands, some swimwear brands. Okay, next this is Zara. And this is a size large. Just a really pretty 100% linen dress, very tropical, floral printed. So I really like this, great for the spring and summertime. This would be great for like a Hawaii vacation. Um, and then we have a Lululemon scarf. Um, so I just kind of saw this in the bin and I didn't know what it was, but I felt that Lululemon fabric and um, I searched for the little, um, you know, logo on it and sure enough, I found it. It also says all of these things on it, like positive, um, start now, just kind of like encouraging sayings um, related to working out. There's the little logo there. Um, so that was a cool find. I haven't been able to identify it yet, but I'm still looking. Okay, so another higher end piece. This is Missoni or M Missoni, which I believe is a little bit of a lower 
division within the Masoni labels, but it's really pretty, um, and it has this, it's kind of like a classic Masoni look um, on this upper region. It's an off-the-shoulder top, really, really cool. Um, the bottom is like a basic black, and so yeah, I really like this, just a very high quality piece. Okay, so this is a pair of girlfriend jeans and I have never found this brand. I was pretty excited to find it even though it does have a few flaws. So they're a um, distressed pair of gray jeans and they have this very small bleach spot here and then towards the ankle they have a larger bleach spot. Um, but I still picked them up because I thought that it kind of just blended in, honestly, with like this grungy look with all the distressing. Um, so I think they're definitely still sellable. I will obviously just list them lower than I would have if they would, you know, have been in excellent condition. These are a size 24, I believe. Um, yeah, size 24. Okay. Next, we have a Free People, Intimately Free People dress. Really pretty, floral printed, and um, it's just a very delicate, lightweight fabric. Very um, true to the Intimately Free People line. It has all of these ruffles down below with a raw edge throughout. Um, really pretty. This would look really cute with just like a basic white t-shirt layered underneath. It has the keyhole opening here and back. Just a nice feminine piece. Um, this is a size small. Okay, next we have a Bryn Walker a tunic top and this is actually new with tags so that was great here's the logo there um, it's cotton and silk it's called the Shea tunic I think this was rejected because it does have a small flaw even though it is new with tags um, there's just a little bit of damage very very minor to the silk or to the fabric there um, so obviously I will just go ahead and list that in the, or note that in the listing, but still a beautiful piece nonetheless. We have a high high jumpsuit, size large from Anthropology. I found a lot of jumpsuits, um, and it has the elastic waist, just kind of the um, tie there, and some nice embroidery going on on the back. This one also needs a quick wash, um, but nothing, you know, nothing major. We have an Athleta sports bra. It's printed, and this is in great shape. Um, it has the padded cups there. And this is a size medium. This also looks like it was a little bit of a newer piece. It's from 2017. Rebecca Taylor, really pretty silk printed blouse. And this is a great size. This is, this is a size 12. I love picking up larger pieces for my closet. So that was great, just a little zip detail here in back. Free People Movement. So this is Free People's workout line, um, and these are a size medium. So there's the tag. And these are really cool. So they have this like, um, it's like a smocked detail at the waist, and then the bottom hem flares out super cool and then it has this like side vent here um, so yeah these would be great 
very fashionable to wear for your workout. There's a little Free People Movement logo. You could definitely wear these, you know, running errands with just a little crop top. So those are a neat find. Again, excellent condition. Okay, so I saw this in the bin and I had never heard of the brand before. I grabbed it or I was, um, I gravitated towards it because I felt the quality. So it's 100% silk and also because of the print. So it's this beautiful floral printed 100% silk maxi dress. Um, and the brand is Louise Misha, which is a French brand, I believe. It's a size small. I couldn't really find too much information on the brand online. If you know, you know anything about it, please feel free to leave a comment down below. But I just thought this was so pretty. It looks like it retails for over $100, maybe close to $200. It's definitely a very high quality piece. Um, it has the waist tie here with the tassels. Just really, really pretty. Again, great for spring and summertime. And I love this kind of like a dark floral print. We have more anthropology. Um, this is, where's the tag? Sleeping on snow. And I think they rejected this because it's a one size fits all or one size fits most piece. Um, and they reject anything that does not have a size tag. So maybe they thought that the size tag was like cut out or something because this doesn't have any flaws. So it has this really cool bell sleeve here. It's a cocoon cardigan and it is a wool blend. So just a high quality cozy piece. Next, another pair of pants. I definitely found a good variety of items like dresses, jackets, tops, um, pants, swimwear, even active wear. Wilfred from Aritzia. I took photos of these yesterday, so um, I don't have them tied. Sorry about that. Um, they're kind of like that casual trouser look and they have this silk tie at the waist, um, a little bit of a cropped length and they have this uh, pinned rolled look at the bottom hem. And again, these are very pricey retail, probably, I don't even know, maybe like $80, $90. Next, we have a Lululemon tank. This is called like the wrap it up tank or something like that in cranberry. Um, and obviously it wraps here in the front. Here is the logo. And I believe this is a size, size eight. Yes, size eight. Okay, next we have a Zara dress. And this is kind of like a basic shift dress with these amazing sleeves. So it's like a three tiered ruffle sleeve. Um, definitely makes a statement. So next we have this pair of Free People jeans. And when I first saw them, I didn't know what they were because they are missing the brand tag, the size tag. <clears throat> However, I did see on the button, it does say Free People. Um, and also they are a newer free people piece. And so I just typed in free people and, um, followed by the OB number. So for newer free, free people pieces, they have, um, you're not going to be able to see it on this tag, but basically on the inner tag, there's a number here at the bottom. It has two letters OB and then a long series of numbers. If you type in free people along with the OB number, you can get the style name of the item. So I, it quickly pulled up the Cindy high rise jean. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll just go onto Poshmark and I will compare measurements of these two measurements in 
um, you know, other people's listings and see what matches up exactly, and then I will list them as that size. So that's how I um, decided to get these was because I knew I would be able to find the exact size and also because they look brand new. They have no wear going on at all, no fading, um, and I think this style was pretty popular. So, um, yes, that was my thought process on those. Okay, so next we have an Eloqui, which I've never picked up this brand before. It is a plus size brand, and it seems to do fairly well. I just don't really ever find it. This is a new with tags blazer, which is awesome, and this is a size 20. It's just a basic black blazer. Um, that's definitely a tongue twister. Basic black blazer that would be great for work. Um, it's an everyday essential and it was new attack, so that's awesome. Next we have an anthropology dress, Corey Lynn Coulter, size medium, just a really cute off the shoulder chambray dress. These are kind of essential for spring and summertime. It has that elastic to keep it in place. And again, it's in great shape. Another, actually this is a jumpsuit, not a dress. So French Connection, size US zero. This is a V-neck jumpsuit, just a basic um, black kind of flowy wide leg jumpsuit with a keyhole opening in back before you get to the zipper portion. So um, jumpsuits were super in last year and 2019 and I think you know they sh it should carry over into this year. So I was definitely excited to find quite a few jumpsuits in this haul. Next we have a pair of distressed Wrangler shorts and I've sold quite a few pairs of Levi 501s, which are cut very similar to these, and a couple pair of Distressed Wrangler shorts, and they do really well. Um, it's way easier to purchase them already distressed than to take an old pair of jeans and distress them yourself. Uh, this takes, you know, all of the work out of it, basically. So these are really cute and trendy, great for festival season. Okay, so next we have a Madewell top, and this is another lightly flawed item. It's a size medium, and it's just a really cute polka dot wrap blouse. The flaw is that the snap here is missing the little piece that the snap um, kind of snaps into, but I do have one of those in like my sewing kit, so I can just attach one very easily. It should take about five minutes. I did want to grab it and put in that little amount of work because it is from summer of 2019, so it is a newer piece, um, and it's really cute. So, And otherwise, it's in great condition. So that's totally worth it for me. I think it should do well. Next we have, I haven't found this brand in quite a long time. It is definitely a higher end brand, ALC. And um, so this actually has the year on it. It says 2009, and I was considering not picking it up because it is, what, 10, 11 years old now. Um, but I just did kind of a quick search for it on Poshmark, and all of the style, the same style, like this striped maxi dress from ALC, all the ones that have been listed have sold. There are none available. That's always a great sign that something is a little bit more in demand. Um, and also celebrities have worn it, like Rihanna. There were a couple other, I can't remember right now. Um, so um, that was a really good sign and I wanted to pick it up because of that. It also has this, so it has this strap here that you kind of fasten on the inside of the dress and it basically, because it's such a wide fit maxi dress, it basically keeps the 
front region close to you so you don't have to wear like a bra or anything underneath which is great it is also double lined in front for a little bit more protection and coverage so overall it's just a really nicely designed and seems to be popular dress so I wanted to grab that next we have a free people beach dress size small heathered and just a little basic mini dress kind of ruched here at the side for a little bit of a more flattering look just a great everyday basic dress you could dress this up or down with sneakers or um, a little bit of like a, a heel you could do like an espadrille wedge so this is a fun piece this is Betsy Johnson size six and it's kind of like the pinup style it has two bows here in front at the chest it has removable straps also so you could wear the strapless if you wanted and then it flares out and it has the tool mesh here underneath for some major volume so really cool um, this style of dress like the pinup couture look is definitely very popular it has the boning up here um, to kind of keep its structure. So this was a great find. I'm excited about that dress. Another dress, we have Plenty by Tracy Reese. And this was sold through Anthropology. I think it's called the Daphne dress. And I just thought this was so cute. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not super crazy about color. I pretty much stick to blues and grays um, but for whatever reason I love this dress I think it's so cute it has this like tulip um, bottom hem let me see if I can show it there we go with like the ruffles and the stripes it's just adorable and then it has the elastic here at the waist to have you know that more flattering fit it crosses over in front but then it's pinned here so that you know you have that nice coverage size extra small okay coming down to our final pieces this is so this was very exciting Fleur Dumal um, collaborating with Killian and so I have found a Fleur du Mall piece before. Unfortunately, it was flawed, so I wasn't able to sell it. I didn't notice it until I got it home, but I did see that it was very high end, so I knew to pick this piece up. It is a lace bodysuit. I didn't know who Killian was, though, and apparently that is a perfume. It's either a brand or a perfume. Yeah, it's a perfume brand. Um, it's sold at Sephora, and it is so expensive. I forget how much a bottle was, but it was like $300 or something crazy. And so this bodysuit is actually scented with that perfume. I thought this was so pretty. This originally retailed for $365. It's sold out everywhere. It's a size extra small and it is made with silk. It's very delicate, very beautiful. And last but not least, we have a pair of Topshop jeans. I could not leave these behind. I thought they were so cool. They have pearls all over them. I actually just shipped out a pair, or a, a, a Topshop piece that has pearls on it, so that's really funny. And these are a size 10, which is a great size. I'm excited to get these listed. I think they're really trendy and cool and unique. So that's it for my haul from the Thread Up Basement. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think about my finds. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up as well. Um, please subscribe if you aren't subscribed and you like videos about reselling and thrifting thrift hauls um, thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye